Welcome back to Judo Highlights everyone. We have another Top Epons video, this time from Paris. Lots of big throws like the one on the screen right now. Lots of uh, great counters and some really nice nailwaza as well. And a really good turnout by a lot of the French judoka. So we're going to have a look at those Top Epons now. If you want to help the channel out, there's some links in the description. Uh, discounts to Judo Fanatics, t-shirts. But as always, just subscribe and like the video, that is plenty enough for me. So this guy here from France, Carl Zola, I haven't heard of him before, but uh, pulled out some really, really amazing judo at Paris Grand Slam. We just saw his big ogoshi, and now a little nice piece of ashiwaza straight into an armbar. So definitely be keeping him on my radar. And look at him. Opportune counter-attack here to a Seoinage. Steps in with an Osoto, so he's got Neawaza. He's got nice big throws as well, so real exciting judoka. Big boys now, and another Osoto, but I like it how he kind of uh, wraps the hand around the back, really puts the pressure on that inside grip that Blue has, just kind of squishes it, makes it ineffective, and gets the Ipon. Big Uranage now, and Uranage is such a lovely counter to also though especially when people kind of have that lazy top grip like that not really doing anything with it and it's easy for someone to just jump under and the uchimata skashi by sasaki if you haven't seen this by now you must be living in a cave or something probably one of the highlights of the entire tournament for some reason it wasn't an ippon looks like an ippon to me come on it doesn't get better than that Next up, and this is really interesting. Ashley Gonzalez used to compete for Cuba, world champion in 2013. Where did he go all these years? What happened? Why is he competing for Romania? So if anyone knows, let me know, but look at this. Shuffle to the side to get that title toshi. He has really, really technical judo. He's really someone you should just watch out for, especially if you like title toshi. So it's like he again against Cass, and Cass, he took it to the ground. He he pulled guard like he likes to do, but Sasaki said, my Newaza is better than yours, and I'm gonna prove it. And prove it he did. Gets the rollover, and have a look at Sasaki's right arm, got the cross grip around the back of the lapel, really, really good for putting pressure down in the Newaza. And then watch how Sasaki gets his leg out it's it's incredible so he's got that top grip isolating the top goes into mount gets put in again escapes this is too fast for me to even call it but uh, now i guess he's in a yoko shiho but what sasaki likes to do is he likes to have uh, one leg the knee close to the guy's hip and then the other leg extended out wide so he's got a really really long base just some of the greatest newaza i've ever seen in judo right here. It was amazing. It was amazing. Uh, another nice little piece that we had was uh, this semi-final against the two Frenchmen, Maret and Terk. But there must be some sort of backstory here. I mean, two Frenchmen, obviously uh, some emotions got involved. Uh, if anyone knows the story, let me know in the comments. I know uh, Maret, he is a, a well-known, respected French judoka, so um, I don't know what the story is here, but if someone knows, please let me know. But look at that! He, he, he latched onto that choke so quickly, it was amazing. And look at that, Ashibarai. But he does it with the knee, he kind of lifts him with the knee. There's not much of a sweeping action going with the foot, but uh, Ida was too tall. Needs to drop his weight a bit to avoid that. And where would we be without a... A lovely classic Haraigoshi. Bit of anger there by the Mongolian. And he throws him over. And then Blue. He just wants to hold on. He's like, no! I can't believe I've lost it. The Mongolian's like, screw you. I'm into the next round. Ochigari now. And kind of a hopping Ochigari. Mixed in with a little bit of a Uchimata. Kind of a halfway point there. But uh, Blue. He tries to rebalance himself, but White does a really great job 
redirecting the attack ends up being more of a traditional Ochigari throw, so I love that one too. Sasaki again. This one I'm going to call the manhandle. The manhandle throw. He just manhandled him. Big arm over the top. I mean, does this have a name? I guess you could call it Kosodo, but it is kind of weird, just like with the hand over the top like that. Next, another great Ippon, Kataguruma this time by the Frenchman. And I love that entry. It's an entry that Fabio Basili likes quite a lot. This angle, reminiscent of the Italian team. Lombardo does it as well. But really well done. Jumps in there deep, gets a rotation. Love a good Kataguruma. Nice Uchimata here. Classic. Couple of stabs at it, couple of hops. And he's over. Right, Cass now. And Cass, not much of a, a thrower. But manages to get this awkward Kochigari. I don't like the entry at all. I don't know what he was uh, looking for on this entry here. Maybe he just wanted to start some kind of motion. Just anything. I don't know. What is that? But um, he manages to use it to his advantage. And get the Ippon. Now this is a really, really nice Ochigari. Kind of reminds me of Aaron Wolf a little bit. That rotating. And then the big reap with the leg. And the attack with the trunk of the body. Slamming into him. Really, really good. Now I feel I see a lot of uh, French to work with this. They come with a right-handed fighter. But they'll take a left-handed grip with the lapel. And then push down on the sleeve with the right hand and then when they get the opportunity they look for that top grip and go in I don't know if it's a, a thing they teach in France or whatnot, but I feel it's something I'm commonly seeing Ashiwaza Kosoto Kochi and then what's going on rolls into the Newaza brilliant there just complete domination look at this Kochi Kosoto and then a little break of the balance, defending the, the Osotogari well, and just jumps on that arm. Rotation gets a Wazari for it as well. Great Ippon. Another nice piece of Newaza now. But have a look at the extension on the arm. So just really pushing down with the hips there. And this is Ashley Gonzalez again. He's so good. He's getting up there in age. But technically, he's just so amazing. He's such a physical specimen. I really want to know his backstory. Like, how he ended up in Romania. Right, next up. Soresuri Komigoshi. Don't see it that much at the heavier weights. But it works nonetheless. A little break of the grip first. Before jumping in there. Good Ipon there by the Georgian. Next up, I love this also though because I think White knew it was coming and just couldn't stop it. Look, he's defending it. You can see he's defending it. You can see he takes a step back and he thinks about countering it, but by then it was too late. Uh, Haruda now, one of the new additions to the Japanese team. And this is some really slick Nawaza. Really, really slick. Watch as he turns him over. And then he gets his leg trapped, but the way he shuffles, he hops. He hops to the side to get his leg out as he posts up right now. Look, walk to the side, and then he knee slides. So it's really high level stuff there. Makes getting that knee out much, much easier. And Osai Komi, Ippon. Really, really nice name was about Harada. Back at the heavier weights again. And the old bow and arrow choke doesn't quite get the rollover, but he doesn't need it. He doesn't need it, gets the choke anyway. You can see that he's uh, he's going for it. He, he wants to roll over, but when you're that kind of size, I don't think you're going to roll over. You're just going to squish people and get the choke. As long as you've got the grip, why not? You'll get it. So this is what I call 
being aware of positioning. So White goes in, but he's not going to get it. He's not going to get a throw. So what he does is he just rolls it over. Just flips over straight into the Newaza. You can see as he goes in, he drops down. And he's like, ah, uh, I could maybe force an Uchimata here. But he's like, no, I don't need to. I'm just going to roll over. I guess it should be a score, really. But straight into the Newaza. That's really, really nice. This is why Judo is such a tooth and nail kind of game, you know, it's anyone could win. White, it didn't look too bad for him, he's got the top grip, nice Ochigari attack there. But Blue, the Mongolian, just puts his arm behind his back, and that sealed the deal. How often do you see a Japanese judoka without a proper back patch? So Tanaka, he is a new addition to the team. But, I mean, he got the gold medal, and he's definitely someone to look out for. Look at that. Stabs him with a little Ochigari, and then just picks him up and dumps him. So good. So good. Here he is again, Tanaka. And he's got elements of Abe Hifumi in him. This Kochigari, I mean, Abe has a, a nice Kochigari, similar. But more the big throws, the big uh, hip throws that they do. Very, very similar. So it would be interesting to see those two face each other. They are in the same weight class, so that would be kind of interesting. Here we see Harada again. And you see more Japanese judoka taking this grip, left versus right. Aaron Wolf does it a lot, kind of feeding it up the back to the lapel. But look at the stab with the Ashiwaza first, before he goes in for this nice... I'm going to call it an Uranage. Starts off, kind of looks like a Kosoto. And then he turns it. And those grips that he has. That's a really, really key element to what he's doing. Next up. Iatsev. Gets countered. By the Frenchman. And the Frenchman loves it. Goes in for this Uchimata. And he got uh, Hashimoto earlier on with an Uchimata. But... Uh, not this time. Not this time. Big boys now. And a nice Sode Suri Komigoshi by the Frenchman. The French, they really turned it out. I mean, not many on the podiums, but overall they had a good turnout and showing lots of their young talent to the stage. Setting up for the Paris uh, Olympics, I guess. Ippon Seoyunage against Ogawa. It's kind of disappointing. You know, I thought Ogawa would do better than this. Very surprised by this, actually. Come on. You can do better, Ogawa. You can do better. So you don't see this kind of counter to a Seoyunage very often, but it works. Zara A nice Kosoto. A nice Kosoto counter to a Seoyunage. Really, really low to the ground these guys are, but... It is a 60 kg category. Look at this. Interesting grips too. Almost looked like he was going to turn it into a Kataguruma. Fujisaka now. And Ochi Osoto. Good combination. And he's kind of down on the grips. But uses it to his advantage. If people are going to hold on to you, they're going to go with you. So using it to his advantage, great Ippon there. The ladies now. Brilliant all sort of for me. Got that arm wrapped up real well as well. So the French on the women's side as well doing really, really well. Yento. Is that how I say her name? So Yatsev now with this nice Uchimata against Hashimoto. Was called it an Ippon here, but they, they cancelled it. I think it should be an Ippon, to be honest. Come on, look at that. I mean, the camera angle is kind of hard to see, but he looks flat on his back. It must be an Ippon, come on. And let me know what you guys think. I mean, it was, it was considered a Wazari, and then Hashimoto, he had to fight back. 
Was this a Wazari? So if the first one's a Wazari and the second one was a Wazari, which I think this this should be a Wazari, then maybe the maybe the the match would have kind of developed in a different way. Uh, yeah, I'd see if he gets another Wazari in a second, but that's because I mean Hashimoto was down; he was just going for it. So I don't know, guys. Let me know what you thought of this fight. Should Yatsi have got, a, got an Ippon? Should he have gotten these two Wazaris if Hashimoto had gotten that Wazari earlier? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think the better man won. The better man probably won. Threw him twice. Hashimoto threw him once. I think the better man won. This is what I call Ippon by finger break. So, just pay attention. Blue. Puts his hand deep around the belt of Adamian. And then Adamian breaks it off. And as he's breaking off his grip, I think he breaks his finger as well. So, it's a dangerous game, this judo. And Nagasawa really impressed me throughout the tournament. Um, just, did he stand on his head? I think he just stood on his head, but look at this counter. Just really, really nimble, flexible judo. I've kind of said it, his judo looks sloppy sometimes, but I think he's just a, a really, really nimble guy. Uh, puts technique ahead of everything else, strength and whatnot. So here we have Sato, who got countered by Tasoev. Probably could have been an Ippon. What I don't get is, with an Ippon, it has to... They have to, the first contact with the mat has to be flat on their back. They can't roll, even if it's ever so slightly. Like, I think here, he slightly rolls where his entire back patch is covered by the tatami, but I guess it has to be on impact, but I mean, how often do you see that? I mean, this Ippon here, you could say that he rolled o over his back patch, no? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I don't agree with their decisions. Right over Tasoev again now. And the Mongolian. I mean, he tries. He tries. I don't, I don't, I don't think this is a good idea. You're, you're the taller, lighter judoka. And you're going to go and try for a Kosotogake against the guy who is known for picking people up. I don't know. Bad technical choice, I think. Nice Tao Toshi there. Seui Otoshi, I'll call it, actually. Because he is dropping down to his knees. Yep, Seui Otoshi. People don't like that definition. And the Kodokan doesn't like it either. But, hey, this is what most people call it here in Japan, so I'm going with it. And look at this Karaguruma. Brilliant rotation on it. Just gives some moving. Perfect direction. That's a really, really nice one. Next up, a Tomoinage. And we didn't really see many other Tomoinages in this contest. No Lombardos, no Maruyamas to uh, really, you know, put some good ones in for us. But this one's really nice. Good control. Gets him over flat on his back. Drop down for the Ochi, fails. Uh, nice turn into the Uchimata. Chaney, strong guy, good judo. Right, here we have Sasaki again, this time against Greg Lashvili, and they called it a Wazari. I'm calling it an Ippon, come on. Drops him for the Sumigaishi, faking the Yashiwaza into a Seonage, and on the way up, he has to stand. He has to stand, but he's already been dominated by the grips and Sasaki. So good. That Uchimaru is so good. And Tasoev now, just getting the hold down against Marei. In the finals. I didn't like this matchup for Morey at all. I think Tasoyev, he, he's 
really high quality, new generation, big heavyweight judoka. Good with the newaza, good with the ashiwaza, good with the big techniques. Tasoev has it all. Pont now, the good Osotogari, off the grip. Left side too. Something about it, French judo, I, I feel like they, they, they like to attack off the grip a lot. Japanese judo on the other hand, they like to get the grips and then go. Interesting contrast in styles. This should have been an Ippon, come on. Kosoto. Fakes. The inside with the, was that an Ochiari and then a Sasai? I think so. All right, guys, let me know what you think about the Paris Grand Slam. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.